everybody I need to change the angle and then I'll get my laptop set up I'm always a bit slow with all this stuff so bear with bear with let's try that and that how's that who's here anyone here I saw Rich Mitch in the comments earlier before I started so hello to Rich Mitch ah there you are how's that how's that Coo. just gonna get my video on uh bougie hello hello bougie so bougie has a very new youtube channel check them out and i'm just setting up my my video so i can see your comments take me rich you want me to take you on holiday I'll meet you there. Yeah, meet you there. It's, I'll meet you in Funchal in Madeira. I'm going on Tuesday. Case Dijon, hello. And users, hello everyone. Just bought a double fragrance package from Zara. I, sorry, I missed it. Um, I am trying to get into my comment section. Niles Bandit, hiya. And we have Johnny Legrand. Hello, Johnny. I'm getting there. Then I'll be able to see your comments. And we have Tracy Comfort Incense saying Spanners Unite. We also have Jim, Jimbo, bonsoir, bonsoir Jimbo, hello, hello Amy, anyone else in the building and if you would like to share your scent of the night and uh, we have, uh, so users to say no rain today, I know what a gorgeous day, I've been working, I went out on two little quick walks around the block to take advantage and we have Sarah saying evening we have Amy scent of the day Dior Cole Noir Cleopatra saying hello don't forget to tell us your sense of the night everybody or day or whatever it might be wherever you may be in the world um, my drink I will start with is of course in the mermaid glass uh, Jim is wearing Gallagher's evergreen dream and Aqua de Palma's Myrtle de Panaria Johnny Legrandi's wearing Obsession and my scent of the... Uh, Rich is wearing Amber Sultan, very nice, Serge Luton's. My drink of the night here is a vodka and Diet Coke, second and last of the night. Uh, Cleopatra's Angelique Noir, gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. And uh, Rachel High from Cornwall wearing Comme de Garçon Black, I think that was. Ah, okay, I have actually got the comments now in front of me on the laptop, so it'll be a little bit easier for me to keep up with the comments but it makes me look down so that's the only problem with that okay uh bougie's wearing lancome's treasure uh shang lui milky musk from palomar de parfum i do not know that one i've heard of the brand haven't tried anything uk frag guy evening young lady wearing paco by paco raban evening cheers what are you drinking or eating or anything else you're putting in your mouth right now share that with us all if you can use this you said right boise for the first time not bad so far yep it's a it's a nice fragrance said right boise my only problem is it's a little bit overbearing it's very strong uh dynamic frags hi hope you had a wonderful day Sent of the day tuscan leather uh yeah not bad thank you jim hung over so it's just water oh jim did you have a good night though? Tell me what you got up to. Tell us all, share it with the room. Case Diogen's wearing Coromandel, gorgeous. For someone who doesn't like patchouli, I actually really quite enjoy Coromandel, in particular the, the dry down, I think it's really stunning. And Niles is wearing Fahrenheit, gorgeous, one of my favorites. And Frag Addicted is saying evening. Oh, evening, cheers. Let me know what you're drinking as well, don't forget and um uk frag guys got absinthe very nice mixing it with anything or are you taking it straight frag dicted scent of the day was fair delicious and has a cup of tea cheers clink clink very british so we're here to talk about holiday fragrances i've got an array over here you can't see them i've got an array of fragrances i a, I think are just so holiday, they're so vacation, they're just, they're fresh or they're beachy, they're just blatant summery fragrances. But, I've also got a few slightly heavier ones as well. 
Dynamic Frags bought Forever Delicious for my mother for Christmas. Good choice. Johnny Legrand, name a fragrance for me I could start wearing for the evening. What have you got, Johnny? Give us some choices. Tina is wearing Breath of God. That's from Lush. Sarah's got a rag bar and CH Men on. Jim, Fev is so nice. Jesus, have you ever smelled the OG Givenchy Gentleman Overdose of Patchouli? I think Dan might have made me smell it, but it, I don't really remember. Catch my whiff is saying hello to Jim. Fragdicted, sprayed at 9am, still getting whiffs. Jim, da 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 da. Okay, right, so I've got a vast array of fragrances here. Most of them are on the fresh side but there's a few that are more my usual style i.e a bit gourmand a bit sweet and where i'm going is a place called madeira it's a small island and it's off of portugal but it's actually quite a distance from portugal so it's a portuguese island but it would take you if you were to get a flight from lisbon to go to madeira is an hour and a half flight so it's actually quite a distance from portugal itself further south in line sort of with Africa so the climate isn't quite as hot as Africa isn't quite as hot as the Canaries but I think it's going to be very warm it's going to be really nice apparently they call it sort of the land of the eternal spring so it's going to be a very spring like warmth is going to be a lot nicer than here it's been bloody freezing I had to scrape the ice off my car this morning trust me I fucking hate doing that but I'd run out of the can, the can of de-icer was you know, empty, so I had to scrape the window because otherwise I would have been late for work, so not fun, hate that. Okay, let's keep up with the old comments. Uh, users hate the cold weather as well. Um, and Dynamic Frags think the Gentleman original is a more wearable version of O27. Okay, Amy, hate the cold weather too. Uh, Cleopatra needs to try Coromandel. Okay, so back to holiday fragrances. I'm trying to sort of keep the balance between keeping up with all your comments and talking about what I'm supposed to be talking about. If any of you have constructive criticism on how these lives would be better, then please let me know. Would you rather I didn't read all the comments out or do you like that I read all the comments out? let me know what you think about that because I, I want to make it fun and inclusive and good for everyone it's definitely good for me it's, it's good for me no matter what I love it but I want to make sure you all enjoy it and um, I think the fun of it is being included all of us chatting together so let me know what you think about that uh, catch move uh, I don't know what you're, are you talking about um, Jim, check the Madeira weather forecast around 10 or 11 degrees all week. Oh, that doesn't sound very much. What's that What's that like in um, Fahrenheit? Because I'm not very good at um, degrees. Is it going to be warm enough? Uh, I hope it's warm enough. Uh, Stara, hello everyone. Okay, uh, 50 degrees. So, I'm probably not going to be swimming in the sea then, but... That's warmer than here, isn't it? So that will do. I'm gonna try and get a lot of walking in as long as it doesn't rain. It's not rainy, is it? As long as it doesn't rain, <laughs> then my plan, the reason I've picked Madeira is because it looks absolutely beautiful. I've never been. And I actually thought that it might be better for me because I, I still wanna lose weight and be healthy. So I wanted to go somewhere where I can do loads of walking. And I thought if, it, if I go somewhere really hot, all I'm gonna wanna do is lay in the sun. If I go somewhere like medium, then I will actually go and do lots of walking and exploring. And that's what I love. Okay, so there. Let's start talking about fragrances. So, bearing in mind, it's going to be 50 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 to 11 degrees Celsius. Uh, let's pick me some fragrances to take with me. So, I think really, I'm going for 10 days and i think i would rather take about 10 fragrances which i will wear because uh, i will definitely wear one one or two during a day it depends how often i need to top up and i'll wear another one for night time so i will wear them again a few times each of them 
so I want a few kind of heavier ones with vanilla in for the evenings and some more summery options for the daytime uh, Cleopatra I would say don't change anything Claire thank you very much that's that's nice to know Mark is in the building hi Mark and uh, Shang Li just try, tried Rouge Trafalgar by Dior I felt a bit disappointed this is what I'm hearing often I've heard one person saying that they love it and quite a few people are saying that they're disappointed it wasn't what they expected John Clark it's you Smurfy Girly Live next couple must must miss your show um hopefully mean you mustn't miss my show John okay so let's move on to frags quickly before we get distracted mm. yeah um Mark's video today robes eight that was a nice video I watched that I like the informal feel of it the coffee all of that stuff um Rachel Cornwall has been 10 degrees there's a reason we have palm trees wow I should have just gone to Cornwall saved myself the flight here comes a cat and I'm worried that she's going to jump over here where all the fragrances are so let's hope she doesn't so let's quickly narrow this down so option number one I could take some don't go up there sweetie please come here if you want come here then no not up there though uh, we could go with nice bergamot I'm not sure if you say nice or if you say nice I don't actually know this is by essential parfums this is a really nice no 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 sweetie no please sorry so <laughs> she... oh shit here she comes bloody hell sweetie yep yeah, she's walking across she's walking across the fragrances come come here then she's a little bloody minx that one what are you doing why do you have to be so destructive nice bergamot by essential parfums really nice brand they name their perfumers they're affordable i can't remember the price but they're not expensive and this is a really lovely very natural smelling kind of musky citrus i would say there's probably a bit of shit in hell sweetie get off why do you have to be such a pain sorry <laughs> nothing got damaged we're all okay sorry for swearing you're naughty feels like um, a bit of vetiver it's ever so slightly woodsy musky citrusy it's not groundbreaking but it's a really nice rendition of a citrus freshy probably one I would respray a couple of times during uh, the day so nice bergamot has anyone tried it does anyone want to vote and tell me whether I should take some or not let me know should we see if we can get sweetie a bit more in camera I'll probably end up breaking the whole camera like she's trying to get onto the laptop now sweetie please just oh my god you're not going over there oh sweetie come on look this is supposed to be professional <laughs> right nice bergamot am i taking it or not let's um anyone tried it um sorry i'm losing your comment because sweetie's causing me stress you're not going over there you're not going over there you can stay here She's purring though, which is quite cute. Um, uh, really, want you, you just really want to try out zoologist fragrances. So rare to find them with good prices. Yeah, um, I would say if you want to try them, get samples. You can get samples directly from um, from zoologist, or you might be able to find. Depends where you live. You might be able to find uh, a retailer that does samples. Like in the UK, we have. Uh, Bloom. Bloom will do samples at good prices for zoologists. Uh, Bougie, please take me on holiday with you. I could use a break from the moment. I'll meet you there, Bougie. Um, no, sweetie. Come round here. Come here. That's it. Right, she's gone. Don't come back. Um, I'll meet you there. Fun chow in Madeira. Shangri, have you tried Eau de Gavanchi, the new uh, 2018 lovely spring summer scent, similar to Neroli Portofino but much cheaper. I'm not sure if I've tried that one or not. I will look look it up. Uh, catch my whiff, it's a catastrophe. 
Uh, Jim, I was just watching an old video of yours today where you were recommending nice bergamot. So that's this one we were just talking about here. Claire, if you could spend one night with any male reviewer and a bottle of wine, who would it be? Not like that. Yeah, I was going to say, bloody hell. I've only had one drink. I'm not going to spill the beans. Um, honestly, let's think. Hmm. You're going to get me in trouble. One one male, so not like that. And make sure we bear in mind, not like that. So just to chat. I would, I know Peter doesn't drink from Fragrance View. He doesn't drink, so good news there is the bottle of wine is all mine but I find him fascinating and the more I watch his lives the more you get to know him and he's such a complex character and he's I find him absolutely fascinating so I'd love to spend time chatting with Peter from Fragrance View and as I say then that way I get to drink all the wine so yeah there you go um uh Jim went to go online and put it in his basket on Lucky Scent. We talk about n uh, nice bergamot. Um, I'm losing track here. Da -da 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 -da. You can still vote. You can still vote, Amy. Um, it's, quite, it's kind of a very natural, slightly woody, slightly musky, citrusy scent. Not quite like Neroli Portofino, but definitely ballpark area. Performance is average. It's not amazing, but it is a light scent. And uh, it is quite nice, but is it really exciting and interesting? Probably not. So based on that, tell me whether I'm taking it or not. Come on, someone tell me. Someone tell me, am I taking nice bergamot? If you want to think about it, I'll pop it on the floor and we'll move on to the next one. And we can maybe make our minds up a little bit further down the line when you see what else I've got. So sticking with freshies, this is a long time love of mine and it's Pomelo Paradis from Atelier Cologne. And this is a beautiful, fresh yet sweet grapefruit type smell that's got a little bit of depth with, again, a little kind of like woodsy vetiver muskiness in the base. Really beautiful fragrance. And yeah, I really like that one. So maybe we can do a battle and you can just say whether you'd rather I take one or the other because um, that will do, won't it? Which one? Pomelo Paradis. You can just say PP or NB for niche bergamot. Cast your votes now. And I'll pop them on the floor. Uh, so Bougie's packing her bags. I will see you there. Um, Niles considering taking suntan glam absolutely it is on the list here where is it um, is that it no that's powder and dust um, I actually bought it downstairs I think I left it over yeah I left it oh no there it is there it is suntan glam yes absolutely it's on the list um, so we could talk about the, I've actually got four options from SP Parfums, my favourite four. We've got two votes for Pomelo Paradis, so at the moment Pomelo Paradis is in the lead. I think we're going to, let's try and narrow these four SP Parfums down to two. And so I'll tell you what my favourites are, and they are SP Musk. SP Musk is... It's got this aged patchouli in it that smells really powdery and not the kind of patchouli that I don't get on with. It's, it just gives it this nice edge. It's a little bit sweet. It's got this gritty texture to it and it's got this kind of abstract jasmine. I really, really love SP Musk and I do have a travel size. So that's one option. Now my other favourite SP Parfums is Powder and Dust, which is already here in this, pow in this travel size. And this one is kind of rich, pear, mimosa, lots of vanilla, bit of pepper. I love it. I really, really love powder and dust. Then we've also got lemon, sorbet and oranges. I haven't spoken a lot about this one. This has kind of, kind of a musty, musty feel, but it's a creamy, lemony, orangey smell. So it's not just sorbet. It's almost like there's vanilla ice cream mixed in with it. And that's a really nice one. 
And then Suntan Glam is a smoky suntan lotion with a bit of sex added to it. So that is really heavy, definitely a nighttime fragrance. So let me know what, what of those four, let's narrow those four down to two. So SP Musk, Powder and Dust, Suntan Glam, and Lemon Sorbet and Orange. Has anyone tried any of them? And does anyone have an opinion on what I should take with me? So I'll pop them on the floor for now while you make up your mind, sissies. And I need a drink. Mm. Ah, we have Jon Snow. Jon Snow, aka Scented Snowdrop, is in the building. Um, Jim is saying maybe layer the nice bergamot with Molecule One. Yes, and I do have that here as well. Let me know if you think I should take Molecule One with me. It's an amazing summer scent. Well, it's an amazing scent for any time of the year, but it really does well in any uh, in the heat. And uh, Tracy's uh, voting for Pomelo Paradis. Amy's voting for Pomelo. Jesus, I know it's off topic, but have you tried Byredo Gypsy Water? only briefly in the shop and i can't really remember how it smells i know it's got some vanilla in it so it's quite possible that i would like it gets a bad rap on performance though and i haven't actually found a byredo yet that's really grabbed me sometimes you just kind of get this feeling that a brand is not for you and i've got that feeling about byredo i probably should revisit though uh cleopatra take something coconutty with you I've got it covered. We're getting to that Cleopatra. Okay, uh, what a lovely group of people all saying hello to each other. Um, and Olfactory Records is saying definitely take Molecule 1. Okay, so we've got a vote already. I haven't even started talking about it, so let's move straight to Molecule 1. Basically, just smells like ISOE Super. If you don't know what that smells like, it's kind of, let's give it a little spray in the air. Kind of like this musky, cedar, je ne sais quoi, mineral, bit mineral-like. mineral, mineral -like. A bit like petrichor, that um, rain hitting hot pavement thing. Really nice, very simple, not complex at all great layering fragrance and performance for me is outstanding it, like day the hottest day back when we had really hot weather it in England which actually does happen sometimes what well, we call it hot <laughs> um it really really lasted not just throughout the whole of the hot day but I had to I got called into work and ended up staying in till 11 p.m no 12 it was about midnight but I got compliments on this at uh, the meeting I went to earlier on in the day. And then at the end of the day, um, someone came to find me and just said, oh, it's you. You're the one. You're the one who smell who's got that smell. I love it. And ended up tracking me down later on and buying that bottle. So, yeah, it is a good one. So let me know if you think I should take some of that with me. I think it's certainly a... It's a really good all-rounder. Um, oh, we have Rose and Jones in the building. We have Lizzie. I didn't see you, Lizzie, but there you are. Um, nice to have you. Uh, Cleopatra's voting for Suntan Glam. Ashton Romero, love your channel. Finally got to catch one of your live chats. Oh, thank you, Ashton. It's lovely to have you on board. Hope you can make more of them now. Um, da -da -da -da. John Feller's here. John Feller, hi, nice to see you again. Cleopatra, love molecule one, like sweet cedar scent. Take it with you 100%. John Feller says, take me with you, please. Do you know what? We've got quite a group of us now. So, yeah, let's uh, let's all form a group and storm, storm Madeira. Okay, then, molecule one is in. There's a few of you now that have said molecule one. So that is in, so I'm going to pop that one over on this side of the room. So the defo ins are down there now. So Molecule 1, we've got a winner. And Okay, right, so um, I wish I could keep up with the... 
comments on my laptop it kind of like scrolls the whole lot off the page and it all goes a bit skew if so let's move on to let's decide between my tom fords what i'm taking so i've got four tom fords now this might might look like a fake but i promise you it's not this is sole blanc and um my f uh, friend at work has a friend that works in the factory down i think it's ashford in kent where they i'm not sure if they i think they produce and pack tom fords and the staff get to buy these uh, laboratory bottles um, are very very cheap and her, her friend gave it, bought it for two pound or something like that and then gave it to her and she didn't really like it anyway I promise you um, I'm reassured it's absolutely uh, definitely the real thing but it's in this bottle so Tom Ford Solid Blanc I haven't worn this one in ages as it goes and I used to really really love this but I think I've just got I've sort of got involved with so many other things it's taken a back seat this is a bit coconutty, there's a little bit of pistachio, it's very bright, it's got some citruses in the opening, it's definitely got some vanilla, it's quite heavy, for a fragrance called Soleil, that would suggest you are going to wear it during the day in the summer, but actually it's probably more of a nighttime scent because it's quite sweet, could be a bit cloying, but as the temperature is not going to get that high where I'm going, I could probably easily wear that during the day. I'm kind of thinking I'd like to take some of my Soleil Blanc just because I haven't worn it and I really do quite like it. So let me know what you think. Should I take Soleil Blanc from Tom Ford? But I don't want to take all the Tom Fords. So it's been pitted against Neroli Portofino. I think we all know what this one smells like. Neroli Portofino is more than just Neroli. It's got this beautiful, musky, ever so slightly ambery dry down, but it's, for me, it's more musky than ambery. And a slight creaminess and a slight sweetness. But really, for me, it's the fluffy muskiness that I love so much. So Neroli Portofino or Sole Blanc or Venetian Bergamot. This to me smells like a mocktail. It smells like uh, an I imagine a drink is green in colour and it's got loads of crushed ice and it smells like crushed up bergamots, <laughs> crushed up maybe lemons and limes and there's some white floral syrup in there as well. Really refreshing but really great performance I get on uh, Venetian bergamot. Um, Amy, am I planning on taking full bottles? No, I'm going to decant because I'm actually going hand luggage only. However, with EasyJet, you can ask them when you get there at the airport, you, you can ask them to go hands free and they will put your hand luggage in the boot of the plane. And what that means is I don't have to worry about my liquid allowance because I'm not actually using it as hand luggage. So I can... I'm still going to take decants, not full bottles, but I can not, don't just have a sandwich bag of liquid, I can take more. So that's where I'm at. So Sarah's a big vote for Molecule One. Uh, Liz is voting for Powder and Dust. Never smelt it, but get feels about it. Yes, I love it. Um, we've got Phaedra. Phaedra, greetings from Washington, D.C. Hi, Phaedra. Uh, John Filler, here's a suggestion, take them all with you. Oh, there's too many though, uh, too many. And Lizzie says, Neroli over Solid Blanc, that's just my preference. Okay, so, and we've got one more, we'll just run this one by you all. And so this is called Azure Lime, it's, I believe it's discontinued, I could be wrong. Um, I bought this on one of the fragrance groups from a fragrant friend quite a long time ago actually find it a little bit masculine but I haven't really given it a full wearing and a good chance so if you know as your lime let me know whether you think I should take that so we've got four Tom Ford, Sole Blanc, Neroli Portofino, Venetian Bergamot and as your lime cast your votes now and I'm going to take two of those with me I might have to re-watch this video to actually count the <laughs> count the votes um phaedra saint sole blanc um 
and Niles is also saying solid Blanc um, and Jim is saying solid Blanc and Venetian Bergamot okay well there's enough people now saying solid Blanc so solid Blanc is in so that's going over here this side solid Blanc is in oh Amy's also um, John Snow saying as your lime not smelt it but lime so John obviously loves a bit of lime so we are now between Neroli Portofino, Venetian Bergamot and Azure Lime. If I'm honest with you, my preference is for Venetian Bergamot. So if you're with me on Venetian Bergamot, just type VB. If you would rather it was Azure Lime, you can type, type AL or NP for the Neroli Portofino. And uh, Amy saying if Solid Blanc is too similar to Suntan Glam, then just take one of the two. I think, I I don't think they're that similar, although they have common notes. Solid Blanc is animalic and quite smoky. Um, sorry, Suntan Glam is animalic and quite smoky. Solid Blanc is very, very likeable without any challenging notes whatsoever. And my preference is probably to take the Soleil Blanc. Uh, John Snow VB just for you Claire don't want you lying in the sun hating us because you wish you took it <laughs> thank you so bougie scent is your lime Amy's NB uh, VB so we have I think Venetian Bergamot for the win so unless you want to jump in and tell me I'm wrong we're going with Venetian Bergamot and that's a Tom Ford's done so the Tom Ford's are going on the floor over here and then we're going to go with the zoologists We've got two zoologists I think we should only take one um, Cleopatra I have a different question is Coco a la vanilla too foody or gourmand um, are we talking about that one by any chance it's like you lot can read my mind right so let's do this one take it to take it or not to take it and I'll answer your question it is extremely foody it's extremely gourmand Cleopatra it's very sweet it's a very thick it's like vanilla ice cream but then it's even more condensed but then you've got coconut as well a very creamy coconut it's very holiday but probably a bit cloying in the sun probably more of an evening fragrance although yeah it's not going to be that hot where I am so I'll probably be fine with it very pervasive very strong very noticeable and has got me compliments in the chemist from about three ladies all at the same time all absolutely loved it very very crowd pleasing but yes it is very sweet it's very gourmand and it's very foody so yay or nay to uh, Coco a la Vanilla just give me a thumbs up or a yes if I'm taking it or uh, just say no if you think I should leave it behind let me know I'll just pop it back over here for the moment um, Fragdicted Bronley do a cheap lime fragrance that I think Nigel recommended in a recent list um, Cleopatra oh <laughs> Um, Jim, that's eerie, isn't it? Um, and Jon Snow saying Lady Gaga do uh, an amazing lime, Nigel lime rec <laughs> recommendation. Um, uh, Cleopatra, yay, at least for the evening, but I really do love gourmands. Uh, Amy, Coco Alla Vanilli is a good one. Tracy, yes, as cosy for the evenings. I think that's, uh, we've got a thumbs up from Amy. So Coca a la Vanilla is in. I can't take them all though, people. I can't take them all. So, uh, well, let's narrow down the two zoologists. I know, I kind of know which way I'm leaning. Uh, we've got B and we've got Chameleon. Look at that beautiful Chameleon bottle. So B and Chameleon. So Chameleon is the blatantly obvious holiday fragrance. Has a lot of Ylang Ylang in it. It's kind of fruity, it's very fresh, it's very colourful, it's vibrant and party-ish, 
party-ish. Um, really beautiful, holiday, blatant holiday fragrance in a fresh yet sweet and lively way is Chameleon. Or we have B. Now B would be more of an evening scent. B to me smells like an edible honeycomb and when it and it, it's got this ginger syrup which I think is lovely gives it a, a bit of a zing but in a very sweet way and then you have heliotrope and almond there's benzoin in the dry down it to me it feels very edible all the way through but it's addictive it's so addictive and because it's still quite new to me I kind of feel like I really want to take that one with me so give me a vote on B just do a B or a C, B for B, C for Chameleon, let me know which one I should be taking. And I will go with what you're telling me. Yay, let's have we got a few votes for B. Amy, B, Cleopatra for B. Jim, the only one I've smelled is B, which I love. Uh, Tracy, go for B if feeling the vibe. Uh, Jim is saying, but I love Ylang Ylang. Uh, Lizzie from Rose and Jones is saying my most favourite summer holiday fragrance last year was Crystal Noir Eau de Parfum. So sexy, creamy, coconut, cardamom fruits, nothing beats it for me. That is a really gorgeous one, sort of for me it's quite, it's woodsy, it's sweet, it's definitely got like an, almost like an incense vibe, I do like that one. I don't own it though. Um, Case Stygen, I look forward to hearing how B will work in hotter weather, so I vote for B. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I really wanted to bring it, is because... I feel like on a, on a warmer day that it's really going to sing or buzz off of my skin. So yeah, um, Eric Gonzalez is going for Chameleon. Fragdictive is going for B. Rich Mitch, are you going to do lives from Cake Island? Yes, I think I might. I specifically got a, an apartment with a balcony uh, that looks like it might have a little bit of privacy and the background some gardens. I couldn't get... Well, I could have got a sea view, but then I would have compromised on a few other things I didn't want to compromise on. So I wanted to get a nice view so I could have a sea view and do lives from there. But uh, in the end, for my budget, I went for one with some gardens. There's also a little bit of um, car park, car park and gardens. But hopefully I might even go off and wander and see if I'm brave enough to do a live from outdoors in public. Niles, uh, B to be on trend. Right, that's it. That's B. B is definitely the winner. So thank you everyone for going with my um, preference on that one. I still love, I do love Chameleon, but I think B, I've got some very tropical, tropical options already. This is very tropical Chameleon. So we're going to do B. So that one goes on the floor over here. And let's take a drink. Tell me what holiday you are all planning on this year. Have you got any holidays, trips booked? And where are you going? Right then, I'm just moving everything a bit closer. Wow, I've got so many. Some of these are so obvious. Let's pick an obvious one. Virgin Island water. So this is another lime option, lime and coconut. The only thing with this fragrance for me is it's quite linear. I don't get much development from it and it's very, very fresh. The, the lime is so fresh and tart and zingy that I wonder if it's too fresh for a place that's not actually going to be that hot. So let me know what you think about Virgin Island Water, whether I should take it or not. Catch my whiff, nothing planned yet. Bougie's hoping to go to the state of Florida and to Italy at the end of summer. How nice. Italy is gorgeous. Go to Milan in, is it March? Go to Milan, go to Essence in Milan and I'll definitely meet you there. I'm definitely going to Essence. I know you're saying end of summer, but just bring it forward a little bit and go to Milan. Um... Jon Snow will be going down south to Manchester to see my dad, if that counts. Yeah, of course it counts. 
That's down south to you, bloody hell. I've got, sorry, I've got a sweetie here on my lip. Ah, here we go. Um, case Digent, we always go to Croatia in the summer. I love Croatia, it's absolutely stunning. Doesn't matter where you go in Croatia, it's beautiful. Tracy, um, now I get the north joke, snow. Uh, Fred Dictive's going to Egypt, very nice. That'll be nice and warm. And Amy's going on a Caribbean cruise in a few weeks. Lovely. What ports are you going to, Amy? What cruise line are you going with? Um, I don't know if you know. I used to work on cruise ships as well. Did a couple of contracts as a nail technician. Just did my nails, actually. Um, so let me know what, uh, what line are you going on and what stops are you making? John lives in sunny Newcastle, deepest, darkest north. Grim up north. Grim up north, John. Um, Rich Mitch is in Northumberland. Uh, right then, let's move on. No one has said whether I should take VIW. VIW, yay or nay? Cast your votes now. And another option is Serge 1861 Renaissance. I really do love this one. Um, Sarah saying nay to VIW. 1861. Has anyone tried this? It's got mint in it and it's got fruits. It's it's fresh. We've got thumbs down from Jim for VIW. And uh, thumbs uh, no from Catch My Whiff. I have better options. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Amy, that explains why your nails always look so good. Going with Celebrity. I can't remember which ports are celebrity cruises yep um and case digen save viw for hotter weather uh catch my whiff i love viw it doesn't last um right so that's a no then um and amy says no to viw because i hate lime brilliant okay right so viw is out of the picture uh, Valet Dina, hi Claire, I'm having Victoria's Secret Day. I went crazy on their semi-annual sale. $500 plus, wow. Uh, is that on underwear or their uh, body care line or a bit of both? Let me know. And um, yeah. Da, 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 da. Right, so 1861 from Zerzhov. This is a fruity minty fragrance with a little bit of depth in the dry down i think there's probably some woods maybe a touch of vetiver not really sure for me i get better performance from this than virgin island water it's very refreshing though is it too fresh for madeira which is only going to be about 50 degrees apparently let me know 1861 let's say actually 1861 can compete with we haven't we didn't make a decision did we no, i think we did actually we decided on pomelo paradis so i'm keeping pomelo paradis i think we all agreed on that so that goes over here and i think we kind of didn't get that excited about nice bergamot so let's pit this against something slightly different um Uh, Lizzie, am I going for Gatwick or Heathrow? Uh, Gatwick, and yes, I will be hitting the perfumes, but it is North Terminal, which is the shittiest terminal. But there you go. I'm sure I'll find something to sniff. I want to try. I just saw um, I just saw Stephen from Red Lessons review the new C uh, C Fiora, I think, or Fiori pink bottle of Armani C. And I kind of want to try that because it sounds quite nice. Cleopatra, no to Virgin Island water because you already have coconut scents with you. Um, Valadina, we are going through my uh, choices of what I might take on holiday. And you lot are helping me choose what I'm going to take and what I'm not. I'm not taking four bottles. I'm just going to decant these. So um, you, you're just kind of like voting for what I'm going to take. So I've just said... 1861 from Renaissance, which is a fruity, fruity, it's citrusy, but it feels to me like more fruits than just citruses, and it's got some mint and a little bit of depth in the dry down. 
I get quite good performance and I do really like it but it does feel like it lends itself to maybe more hotter days than I might be getting and then uh, another option so I think one or the other of these so this is Agonist Infidels I love this one so this is oh here she comes again so this is citrusy it's citrusy in the opening but it's got loads it's all natural the Agonist one it's got loads of stuff it smells very incensey to me it's got pink pepper cloves it's got rose jasmine um, vanilla cedarwood sandalwood vetiver a popanax myrrh ylang ylang basically to me it's like a bit of a head shop you know like an incense shop kind of smell but with a citrusy top so it's kind of fresh but then it has incense and it's very exotic smelling so the infidels is one that i really love and it's got a good depth so i could wear that in the evening or even daytime and then the 1861 is more fresh let's see uh Poseidon doesn't get the love for incense um i don't love very very strong incense dominant incense fragrances but i like them as a, a side note if you like just I think they just add this extra something a little bit different a little bit exciting if you're not used to incense and fragrances uh, Lizzie last time I flew the British Airways in-flight magazine was selling Roger Duff fragrances bloody hell uh, John Snow quite like Phoenix but have an ex who worked there so I avoid it and the staff oh okay um, Cleopatra the infidels sound spicy take it yeah, I think I think the Infidels just feels a little bit more exciting. And I've got a great memory, actually. I bought... So this is my second bottle. I bought my first bottle of this in Croatia. I was in... I think it's... Is it Zagreb? What's the capital? Is it Zagreb? Is it the capital? Um, I can't remember where I was. But I was in a big city and in Croatia on the coast I think it was on the coast and uh, I found a perfumery called Topps Perfumery and it was pretty much one of my first ever full retail buys in a shop and it was the Infidels and to me it was so exciting because I was so new to niche so it's got great memories of um of a solo trip I took to Croatia so it might be nice to take it on my little solo trip too Madeira so yeah okay it's in and we'll we'll put the Zerge off over there and that can be saved for a hotter climate oh, right so quick count up now we've got one two three four five six seven we've got seven fragrances that are making it into the suitcase uh, Valadina one smells sounds like the warmer weather and the second cooler weather yeah, so the weather's not going to be mega hot. It's uh, only going to be about 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So, yeah. Uh, Rich Mitch, are they open? Okay. Um, Jon Snow, uh, definitely have to take that then. I think Zagreb is the capital. Looks gorgeous over there. Um, yeah, uh, Poseidon, I will be decanting them, so I won't be taking full bottles because, yeah, that's just a waste of space and weight, I think. So we're down to, we've got seven, and I've got now to choose from, we've got one, two, three, four, five, I've got six more to, we're going to narrow these six down a bit more. Mm. Right then, let's choose between two Chanel's. So I've got Derville and Bay Ritz here. Derville and Bay Ritz, these were actually purchased at um, an airport. Uh, basically me and Dan are now co-parenting these. So back when I was together with Dan, Mr. Smelly, we bought these together between us. I appear to have custody, I have, probably have but I am, I mean, generally the mother does get custody more often than the father. But we are co-parenting. Dan knows that they're here and he can um, he can take care of them. 
whenever he wants to because we're very amicable but we have Derville and Bay Ritz and let me know if you know these fragrances if you've tried these fragrances um, Valedina you have so many amazing fragrances this is hard I know it's so hard it's so hard um, Bougie I'm waving at everyone as I'm heading out nice to prep myself for a long work week enjoy your holiday Claire thank you very much thanks for joining in everyone do check out Bougie fragrance she's got a great YouTube uh, YouTube channel uh, hubby does the videography and um, I don't actually know your name, really sorry, uh, but uh, we will call you Bougie. Bougie sits in front of the camera and they have a really great chat whilst Bougie talks very, very informally about fragrance. It's very nice to watch. Um, okay, right. Derville Bay Ritz. Have anyone tried either of these? I'm just going to quickly, very briefly explain what they smell like. Derville is the greener of the two. I would say Derville was fresher in that it's more zesty it's probably more limey green hard to explain actually a little bit of sweetness not much more about the sort of green zesty limey bergamot and the bayritz is a bit sweeter although it does have some aquaticness about it as well but only very lightly Bay Ritz, Bay Ritz feels a little bit like there's some vanilla in there, but it is still, it's more orangey. It's like, it's more like an orangey, fresh fragrance with some vanilla and a hint of aquatic, a hint of a sea breeze going on. So that feels more holiday like in that it's got that aquatic thing. And then Derville feels very, very fresh. So um, I think if 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 you haven't tried them i think being that it's not going to be mega hot the the bay Ritz is probably better because it's got a little bit of depth with the vanilla in the background but it also has that nice like sea breeze aquatic nature whereas derville just feels that much more fresher so derville is sort of as fresh as the virgin island water is really so amy's saying bay Ritz, and that is that's it I think we are going with Bay Ritz so Bay Ritz goes over here Bay Ritz goes over here and Derville goes over into the other pile so we're getting there we're making progress um, Valadina said the first one and I, I don't remember what the first one was now <laughs> um, so let me have another swig of my drink and if anyone has um speak now forever hold your peace on the bay ritz and derville uh debacle <laughs> derville gate dergate bay bay gate bay dergate der. oh no this is ridiculous right we are making progress bay ritz valadina saying bay ritz as well okay bay ritz is the winner we have four more four very different fragrances so let's take um uh lizzie can't stay awake unfortunately good night all have a fabulous holly bob claire enjoy all the fragrances thank you lizzie and good night to you sleep well so let's go between two of these fragrances here i've got lush over and over and I've got Baccio di Velluto from Brigantia Perfumes. So, they are very different fragrances, but I feel like we'll take one or the other. So, the Lush is actually another lime fragrance. I think it's lime and bergamot. Um, let's see if we've got any ingredients here. Oh, crikey. We've got cypress oil. We've actually got oris oil. So Lush are mental. They put real oris in their fragrances and then charge 30 quid a bottle. Um, but they actually, they'll put oris in a bath bomb. They're mental. But they like, they really like their naturals. We've got fennel oil. And lime oil. 
it's kind of like a musky it's a musky lime it's very very zesty and very very fresh but with a slightly fuzzy musky undertone maybe too fresh for the temperatures i'm going for but that's called over and over and it's by lush and then the other one john's saying i see you definitely have a secret love of lime i never would have thought that but you know what maybe and then the uh, Bacio di Velluto, this is a, I don't know if, if you've seen me talk about this before, it's been a while since I mentioned this, is, I don't have much left now. This was gifted to me by the brand owner, a uh, lovely lady called Catherine. I purchased a travel size of it and I loved it and I reviewed it and I kind of raved about it and as a thank you she sent me the full bottle so this was and i've used all of that so i do really like this one um this is a very much an ylang ylang fragrance but it has got some musky ambergris it's got some vanilla it's actually got quite a lot of vanilla in the dry down so this would be a nighttime fragrance this would be what i wear when i go out and have just the one or two what is she doing behind me sweetie what are you doing <laughs> Oh my God, this cat. Um, <laughs> I feel like she's still in the show. I'll just shut up and um, I'll shut up and let her get on with it. Uh, Frank Dictive, need to get some lush fragrances. Uh, Jim, too many mojitos, what with the lime? Oh, sweetie, come on in. Um, yeah, I do, I love uh, lime. I love mojitos, it's my favorite cocktail and <laughs> come here I love mojitos because of the mint and the lime and they're so refreshing they taste they taste so natural to me they just taste good almost like you're drinking something that's good for you but when you drink a lot of them you realize that they're not good for you at all they're really not good for you but I do love a mojito uh Frank Dicted, has anyone tried tank battle I have tried it I've never owned it. I didn't. I found it too weird, like that weird, um, wet, wet, damp, mus, mouldy, musky smell to it. It's kind of weird. Um, quite nice opening with. I think is that the one with the bubble gum opening? I could be wrong. Um, I could be wrong on that. Correct me if I'm wrong. Everyone say hi to Sweetie, Sweetie the Acrobat. Uh, Jon Snow, I think the Lush one too. Be ashamed to finish the second one. Yeah, but I mean, what am I going to do? Keep it in the bottle and never use it? Because that's also a shame, don't you think? Um, Eric, Claire, you should make a tutorial showing how you decant. I always worry about using the small funnels and spraying. I worry oxygen would change a fragrance. How do you do it? Uh, it's not particularly um, amazing. Well, in fact, I can show you. I'm going to show you right now how I do it because I happen to have. Oh, don't steal my chair, sweetie. I know what you're. I know what you're doing. Right, because I happen to have an empty bay rit, so I've already had this decant before and used it up and I kept it because I knew I'd probably um I'd probably do it I'd probably use it again with and I'd only ever you put the same fragrance in a used decant bottle so if I want to decant some Bay Ritz which I do I just spray it into the decant bottle like this so I literally just Spray it in, just make sure you don't get it all around the sides. This is a really good sprayer, so there's no waste whatsoever. And that's all I do. And I would say if you are worried about oxidisation and the air getting to it, then just don't do yourself big decants, just do small ones so you can use them up quickly. Now I'm obviously not going to wear loads of this when I've got so many other things. So for me, for my 
10 day break I probably only need that maybe a little bit more because I might cake myself in it because it's quite fresh he's a good sprayer as can you hear that so like you press and you get more they're really good so that is how oh it definitely it smells like mandarin specifically um now i'm smelling it in the air uh so that is my decant ready to go off bay Ritz. so yeah nothing clever here it's all very basic Uh, and Balladina saying um, the Ylang Ylang one I should take so we've got a couple of different opinions on that the Ylang Ylang one or over and over um, Niles is seconding what Eric said Okay, yep, yeah, about the tutorial. Um, Cleopatra would take back Chizzy Veluto, so that's the Ylang Ylang one. And Jon Snow is saying true, and I guess you get a good memory with the last of it. Yeah. Uh, predicted it's his favourite cocktail too, the mojito. Right, that's it then. We're going with Baccio di Veluto. Uh, I think that's got the most votes. And I will. I won't decant that. I will take that as it is. Maybe I'll try and use it up because sometimes it's good to use something up because it makes space. <laughs> makes me feel better actually if I use something up. I love that though. I really do love that. It's a gorgeous fragrance. But you know, you have to empty some of these bottles out. Um, John Snow, you know that's taught me something. I use them um, bloody little funnels. Feel like a chemist and end up covered more on me than in the bottle yeah yeah those funnels i don't think they're suitable for for that exercise they're not necessary for that exercise eric thank you that was very helpful <laughs> jumps on amazon to order labels and vials uh, a, a little hint uh eric sometimes the labels just don't stick to the bottles they just peel off so I end up having to wrap sellotape around them anyway. So what I end up doing is if I haven't got a label to hand, is I literally just write on the post-it note and then um, sellotape that onto the decant. So you don't really need labels because you're probably going to end up having to sellotape it on anyway unless you get a particularly good label. And I don't actually know. It's hit and miss with labels. Oh. Catch my whiff, that's how I decan too. I never bothered with the funnels. Um, uses a pea touch. I don't know what that is. Um, Valadini, you should come to Miami on your next vacation. We have lots of mojitos. I really toyed with, I toyed with going to uh, Florida. I was looking at Orlando more than anywhere else. But in the end, it just didn't suit my budget because I would have had to hire a car on top of the flights and the accommodation and I decided to just do a bit more bit more local but yeah I think I might come to Florida soon though and then we can have a mojito together on the beach um, okay right drink and then we've got just a few more to get through mm. So don't forget, tell me where you're going on holiday if you are. Um, if you are, tell me what fragrances you're taking with you. This is 4,160 Tuesdays and it's called, ironically, or not ironically, but appropriately, it's called What I Did on My Holiday. And you can't see it because of the light. There we go. What I Did on My Holiday. Holidays. What I Did on My Holidays. And... In the UK, and I don't know if this happens in the States or anywhere else, when you come back from your holiday or your uh, va your vacation, you come back to school, uh, particularly when you're younger, usually your English teacher will tell you to write about what you did on your holidays. And so that means what you did on your time off 
if you did go away somewhere you can write about that if you didn't then you'd have to sort of write about what, what you got up to on your time off and that could be a fun exercise if you have something fun to talk about but it could also be for some people not the best thing to have to do so but that's where the night the name comes from that thing that happens is that you write about what I did on my holidays and Sarah McCartney the perfumer her uh, memory of uh, her holidays was going to British seaside resorts and this is a, a scent memory really of those British seaside resorts back in the day where you would smell the foods like the vanilla ice cream that you might be given, the candy floss and the mint rock so in the traditional British seaside you always get a stick of rock with something written all the way through it and it's basically a minty hard candy if you're not from the UK and you're not sure what that is a minty hard candy in a stick a bit like a candy cane I guess so in here you have all those smells your mint rock your candy floss your ice cream cone but you also have a bit of a sea breeze so there's this aquatic hint of sea like seaweed and sea breeze is not too strong it's a really interesting fragrance very much for me quite an artistic fragrance but fun I'm gonna spray some on here very very fun so tell me if you think I should take that or not um, Jim oh yes we had to do those presentations in school uh. Uh, Fragdicted would take blood orange by Aaron Terence Hughes. That's uh, a lot of people are liking that. I haven't tried it. Um, so, mint, sea breeze, bit of seaweed, ice cream, vanilla ice cream, candy floss, and um, yeah, mint rock, mint rock. So that is what I did on my holidays. Let's. Oh, oh, I don't know. And then the other one, the last one we've got here, is Guerlain's Le Plus Beau Jour de Ma Vie, which doesn't smell like holidays. It doesn't really ring true for holidays and vacation. It is a sweet fragrance with a tiny bit of anise in the opening, just a hint of a spicy anise that goes quite quickly, it doesn't last too long. And you have orange blossom, you have vanilla, Ooh. I think there's, oh sugared almond, sugared almond is absolutely beautiful, so this would be night time, I wouldn't wear it during the day, it's very expensive, I've got um, the bee bottle upstairs but this is just my transporter bottle, for me I love it for the evenings on holiday. It's got a strong smell, but it's not too thick and heavy. Um, John Snow, definitely the Galan to be something a little different and sounds gorgeous. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, The what I did on my holidays is more daytime. And I've definitely got a lot of daytime, daytime, daytime choices down there already. This is a nighttime fragrance. I got an amazing compliment wearing this when I wore it on a holiday in Greece a few years ago. And it was my night out fragrance and it was the end of the night and it was back when I was with Dan. and We were getting food and most commonly at the end of the night we were getting pistachio ice cream. And I, th I don't know if that's what we were getting this particular night but the girl that served us the food across the counter, she just said, oh your perfume, your perfume, her English wasn't amazing but she's clearly saying that she really liked my perfume so bearing in mind I've been wearing it for a good four, five, six hours by this point and she was smelling it from across the counter so the performance is really good and it does smell really really beautiful it's very enticing, very intoxicating so I kind of want to take that one uh -huh. Jim, Eugene would approve. I don't know if he would particularly, he loves his Guerlain's, but I think he finds the 
the very sweet ones a little bit fluffy and maybe not his favourite. I don't know if I've seen his opinion on Le Clou Beaujour, but I would be interested to see what he says. So are we saying then, are we are we in agreement that we are going with the Guerlain over the 4160? Let me know. Let me know. It seems to be the case, but I'm open and willing to listen to your arguments. Fragdicted saying Guerlain. And Jim saying Guerlain. So I would say Galan it is. Galan is the winner. And Valadina, Orlando is fun for kids. Miami is fun for grown-ups. It's always a holiday here. I go to New Orleans, California, New York. Definitely cruises. I take a lot of perfumes like you on holiday. Galan, Cleopatra Galan. <laughs> Love Le Plus Beaujour de Marie. Galan it is then. Definitely seems to be for the win, Galan. So shall I quickly show you everything that you have helped me choose for my holiday? So we'll obviously, we need to move that out of the way. And that. So we have Chanel Bay Ritz, which is the orangey aquatic with a bit of a sweetness undertone. So Chanel Bay Ritz is in the Guerlain Le Clou Beaujour de Ma Vie, an evening scent, lots of vanilla, lots of orange blossom, some almond, sugared almond, and a bit of a spicy anise, star anise type thing in the opening, gorgeous for the night time. We are going with B by Zoologist, a beautiful honeycomb, vanilla, heliotrope. Heliotrope smells a little bit like almond, it's a little bit powdery, it's got some resins. And that will definitely be a fabulous nighttime fragrance. We have Venetian Bergamot from Tom Ford. This would definitely be a day or night option. Quite strong, long lasting, refreshing, yet with quite a lot of depth underneath it. It's got some it's got some backbone and the floral is very sexy and feminine and enticing so that's definitely day or night option pomelo paradis very fresh daytime i think scent for me if i was going somewhere super hot and when i was if i go back to when i went to cuba quite a few years ago now i loved this as a nighttime scent because it was so hot that you want to try to retain your shower freshness so you'd shower, but as soon as you stepped out of the air conditioning, you felt sweaty again. So I absolutely loved wearing the super fresh fragrances just to make me feel clean and fresh. And this was amazing for that. Now, that's not a problem I'm going to be coming up with in Madeira, but I will wear this one during the day. Uh, it might get killed a little bit by the sun, but I will put it in my hair and probably just respray. So I'll do quite a big decant of that one. So Pomelo Parody, very grapefruit fresh fragrance. And then we have Molecule 01, Molecule 01. This is just a great all rounder. Probably won't choose it for a nighttime fragrance. It's not the most interesting, but it is very enticing and it's such good performance. It'll be great for the daytime and I may well end up layering it with some of the fresher fragrances just to make sure if the freshy dies, the Molecule 1 will definitely still live on cedar and musky type scent. That's the foxes you can hear in the background. And we have Soleil Blanc from Tom Ford. This is very, very sweet. So I think probably, I'd, no, I'd probably go day and night with this. Depends if they're, if I'm lucky and there's a really hot day then I might avoid that because it's quite sweet. But I think it would be great. Sorry, I'm belching. <laughs> I think it would be great for the climate I'm going to daytime as well as nighttime. So uh, it's a bit nutty. There's this pistachio. It's got some coconuts and vanilla. So it's got that kind of suntan lotion feel. 
but sweeter and more edible. Very edible fragrance, Soleil Blanc. And we've got Vache di Velluto, which is the Ylang Ylang with Ambergris Sandalwood. Bloody foxes. Ylang Ylang Sandalwood. It's, it's quite sexy, lots of vanilla. So a, this one would be a nighttime fragrance for me. Gorgeous. Absolutely. Uh, this is a fragrance for me. If I wanted to impress, if I wanted men to fall at my feet, I would probably go with that one. And the Coco a la Vanilla. That is the rich, very rich, sweet cocoa, coconut vanilla fragrance. Kind of smells like suntan lotion, but in a very foody way. Cocktails, ice cream. Yeah, really, really thick and rich. So probably, I would actually wear it during the day because it has a very casual feel. But it lasts really, really well. And I think it would uh, be great for the fact that it's not too hot. Might be too sweet for the very hot weather, but it looks like I'm probably not getting hot, hot weather. So that would work. And it's already in that great size, transportable. So that one can go out with me. Well, actually, because they're all be decants anyway, so it, I could take anything out with me. Finally then, we have got Agonist the Infidels. And this is a citrusy, spicy with a, it's a very powdery, incense -y kind of vibe. And just, to me, it's exotic. It's exciting, so probably more of a nighttime choice again because because of that depth, because it's got the vanilla and the incense. I think that's more of a nighttime fragrance. So that that is it. So how many have we got here? I wanted ten max. Let's see. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we've got ten. Okay, Stygian, off to bed. Good night, all. Good night. Thank you for joining in. We've pretty much come to the end of the video now anyway. Thank you, everyone, for joining in. So I've got 10 fragrances. I'll be decanting, taking with me to Madeira. And I will do my best to record some footage while I'm away. I may do some live feeds if it works out for me. Um, it will depend going to depend on a few different factors if I can show you some beautiful footage of the island of Madeira and talk a bit frags with you at the same time then I think that'll be pretty cool so yeah that's it really thank you so much for your help in choosing my fragrances for my holiday and I will catch up with you all very very soon cheers and good night all